Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have I have a 99 cent store haul. I almost said the other the other store. It's this is a 99 cent only store. And the first item you can see are these wall hanging plaques, I think. They are called yeah, wall plaques. We got this first one right here. Love the color, and they are call it monogram. So they had various letters on there. My sister picked out these two. This is the one she wanted, and I told her I have to haul it before she can take it. But she got the M. And with the M, you get this image here. And I like it. The birds at the bottom. And then she also picked out the orange with the L on there. And the images all around is the same. Uh, they look exactly like the same. Just the monogram and the color is different. The L. And they had other letters too. And I just... By the time I went to the store, I was kind of tired and... I wasn't thinking... But I'll probably go again. Hopefully they still have them. Hopefully they still have them. And I'll go again. But yes, I found when I found out that the 99 cent store was bringing out their Day of the Dead items, I was like, yes, I have to go. Definitely have to go so I can update and add to my little collection that I have already. And the next thing I got from there is a paper lantern i got this one and i think their brand or their label name is called ola halloween so this is the lantern this is what it looks like when it's opened let me get that glare off of there this is has the the lady sugar skull on there and she has the flowers up on top and on the bottom. She does lights up. She has right here a little light. And it does require two AAA batteries, which I didn't realize until I got home that I needed batteries for it. That's fine. I still got time to get to get the items I need for for my Day of the Dead. And this one costed a dollar twenty nine right here these were dollar 29 and these other one right here i forgot to tell you these were also dollar 29 each so dollar 29 so i grabbed that this one right here this one had the the lady this one had the guy this one you can see up close and you can tell his design is different he has the flowers all around, as is with her. She just had it on top and on the bottom. So I grabbed that. I grabbed these two of them. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get more or not, but definitely two, and I wanted to get the pair. I wanted to get the pair on that one. And let's see. Oh, and I got the, what is this? table runner I absolutely love this one it's all you know the background is all black with these bright bright vibrant flowers all over it and these this one cost me $2.99 and this is what it looks like it's just one solid like that that's what the runner looks like and they also had another one in which it was all black in the middle. And then they had the sugar skulls at the end. One here and one here. But I picked this one out because I loved it so much. I actually probably had gotten two of them. Because I like it because, you know, it's not necessarily for Day of the Dead. I can probably use it all year round on a certain occasion. Because that's all it is, is flowers. Bright, vibrant flowers. And I like the material, too. The material, 
if you can tell from in here. It kind of has a feel of a canvas. It's nice, thick, canvas-like. I think it would look good. And uh, the measurements on this one is 10.25 inches by 51.2 inches. Table runner. And also by Ola Halloween. So we got this one. And I got me some. Also by Ola Halloween. These are paper cutouts. Got a bunch of in here. They just cut out this little paper like. And this is all the ones that you get inside. And these, this one was 99 cents. Right there. 99 cents for all of those. Let me open this one. That oh, way you can see them individually. But yeah, this one you can like get tape, put on, tape them on the wall, or you can put them um, as table scatter, large table scatters. But here's this one. She's a good size, and I don't. Nope, I don't have my ruler. I'm guessing she's about 12 inches. You know what? Let's get this out of the way. There we go. So we got her. And there we got the guy playing the guitar. He's in blue. So we got the couple dancing and playing. We got these two here. And then we have we have her from the bust up or from the waist up. And then we have this guy playing the trumpet or the corn. No, not the trumpet. I forget. I think the trumpet has no no buttons and this one has a button. I can't. I can't remember. I'm not the clarinet either. So. But anyways, we got this guy. They look nice. They don't look good, you know, to decorate a whole wall. That way if you have a, a whole large wall that hasn't been decorated and you want to overwhelm it or just scatter them in different places. They are kind of too large. Well, I guess it depends on your journal. We could junk journal with them if you want. But I think these might be a little too big for that. But do we have these, this one right here? This is the accordion. Accordion with some flowers. And we have the guitar. I love that. And we have the heart. And we have these. Upside down, this way. Um, I'm trying to figure out what they're called in English. I'm not sure what they're called, but I know in Spanish they're called maracas. I think the maracas. You just shake them and get little beans on it. You know, kind of like a very large baby rattle. <laughs> but they're maracas. You got that. At least that's how I learned to call them that. If they're called something else, you can just let me know. And then we have this one here, the floral. You can put it either which way you want. And the butterfly. Yeah, and they are just cutouts, cardboard, paper cutouts. See, so you can you can work with them, craft with them, keep them up, do any, anything you want with them. And they are a total of 10 pieces. So I did grab these. Very beautiful. Love the colors. 
probably one of the things I kind of gravitate to the sugar skulls and the things for Day of the Dead is the very beautiful, vibrant colors that come in. Mm -hmm. A little too far, huh? Oops. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Okay, and the last two things that I got, or a few things that I got, are these picture frames. These are. Sorry. Lint on it. I have these five by five photo frames. Got this one in here. The pink one with the floral. Very beautiful. You can use them as a picture frame and, you know, take out the image inside and put a photo of yours in here. Or you can just decorate it with just like that. Got that one. This stands up. I did pick out two of her. The two pink ones. I wanted to do it so I can update the pictures on my altar. Update my my deceased family members' photo frames. So I, I only got two pink and I got two blue ones, which is this one right here. Kind of... I was going to say exactly the same, but they're not really. You know, the florals are different on top. But I got that. Put this one in blue. Let's get down here. So I got two of each. Two pink, two blue. And they do hold five by five picture frames. I only got, you know, Four total because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the whole revamping of this picture frame or just wait off every year and see what other picture frames will come out so that way each family member will have a different frame for them. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It would have been nice if they had oops, had maybe like some smaller ones you know for like the smaller picture ones that I have. They do have the pictures that I have of family members that are small. So I got this one. Very beautiful. And these are a dollar twenty nine also. So it's pretty good. They are like what? Four cents more than a Dollar Tree. But I love the the quality. Quality of this one is very hard, thick, and it's glass. This is glass. This is how you open it up, take out the picture. And does it say? No, it just says it's five, five inches by five inch picture frame. But I'm not sure. Maybe this is a good ten inches in height. I'm not sure. But we got this. This is my little haul for the Day of the Dead. Because they are coming out. I did see. Wait a minute. Because when I went in and I saw this, my whole attention and eyes were on on these. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, they had Halloween stuff, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the Halloween does come before this. They did have, the 99 cent store did have Halloween items. They had Day of the Dead items. And I was seeing a few fall. A few. So. I wanted to, I know, it's, you know, Day of the Dead is not until like November, the beginning of November, but I wanted you to show you because if you like to decorate with, with these items, with this theme, right now is a good time to go get it because they do sell quick and they did have figurines. I just, you know, my budget, I can't take all of it at once. So hopefully when I go again. They'll still have items and not sold out on anything. But these are the main things I got. I'm hoping to find another table runner because it'll be good on the you know, kitchen table. But I think it would be nice also on the coffee table because it's kind of one of those long coffee tables. It'll look nice on that one. 
or just for a backup because who knows you never know they might not have it next year and I got two lanterns and yeah this is it hoping to go back again I might have another 99 cent store haul but I hope you saw something that you like and you can find it at your store hopefully you have a 99 at where you're at and if you are new here don't be shy subscribe and that and i'll see you on the next one all right bye bye